but we're always kind of contracting what we can think of as a Kegel. It's always contracting, uh, especially on the inhale, when we want it to open and receive oxygen and circulation. So if we're closing it off as we're breathing in, we're not doing it any favors with the breath. Um, it's not getting its share. So we want to open it as we inhale and exhale, close everything off. If these muscles are too loose, then they're not really functional. But if they're too tight, they're also not functional because they can't go with the flow of our body and our pumping system. And so if, if that happens, then we may uh, run into things like incontinence, a lot of menstruation issues, even digestive problems, right? Not being able to, we're sending that, that, um, that tension up into the stomach and it's not able to fully release. So there's a lot of things that can uh, go wrong with this and kind of everything ties down to the root. Back pain, um, tightness in the jaw, these two base, the base of the body and the top of the body, this pelvic bone a lot like our shoulder girdle. So the um, Jaladhara Bandha and Muladhara Bandha are very much connected, the throat and the, um, and the base. And once I started working with that area, it's amazing the release I got through the chest, all of that tension gets referred up to the more mobile areas of our body and the shoulders and the neck. Um, and so being able to release that just really freed everything up. When you're exhaling, are you walking that pelvic floor? You're lifting and engaging that pelvic floor. So creating a Kegel or how you would stop, you know, urinating. Sure, but then are you walking the, the bondage? Or the if, well, when we're doing like an exaggerated one, right? So I'm not gonna walk around totally, you know, really exaggerating my breath. But when I'm exercising, I do want to get the most, you know, efficiency out of that pump. If I'm doing the work, you know, I might as well be cleansing whatever I'm, I'm moving out, right? Um, and so, it's a good question. So yeah, it is kind of when I'm doing that, then I am. It is kind of like a slight like and let go, right? And also with the um, uh, Jaladhara Bandha. You know, I'm kind of engaging all the bondas slight. Well, on the inhale, I'm engaging these two. On the exhale, I'm more engaging that one, right? And this one a bit just to move the air out, but that's more, you know, navel center, just the navel center back. So as I inhale, I'm kind of engaging uh, Jaladhara Bandha to create that Ujjayi breath, right? So um, what I kind of think of um, at Udhyana Bandha is kind of like creating Ujjayi breath in the ribs. Right, I'm doing ujjayi in my core, right? So just that slight constriction so that I can regulate the breath a little better. So when we're mouth breathers, that's a large intake valve. So when we start breathing through the nose, the esophagus, so we can you know, regulate the breath a little better. When we can learn ujjayi breath, that slight constriction, we can regulate the breath even more. So that's the same idea. We wanna be able to do that with our diaphragm and our pelvic floor, right? Have that control over all of our bandhas because they are where the portals, where things move back and forth and control how the, the pace of that and the pressure and you know how we fully cleanse. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a weekly class. You could kind of turn into something like that. I think that might be helpful because I think when I was learning, it would have been nice to have maybe a class to kind of go to every week to be like, you know, instead of trying to figure it out on my own and do the grocery store bins, but those are helpful. <laughs> <laughs>